Hey, what is going on guys? It is Mata Diamonds here and welcome to a new tutorial video for Terraria. Now this one is going to be how to build an obsidian generator in uh, Terraria 1.2. Now this works in any version. Uh, it should work for like uh, in future versions as well, but here I will show you that it does work. Uh, I'm just going to build a platform down to here so that way I can get to the obsidian. So what happens is, is you fill after you fill up these two pools, uh, I'll show you how to be able to get unlimited water and lava from doing that. But all you do is just sit here and you just mine it, and the obsidian and, or the lava and the water will die down uh, both eventually, and then you'll have to refill it. But in about uh, I don't know that much time, I got a total of 70 obsidian. So it's very, very, very effective um, once you have it built. So, you guys probably want to know how to build it now, so let's get on to the tutorial. Now, what you're going to want to do is find a area that is about, you know, it's got some space to it. So, I'm going to make mine, I'm going to make mine a little bit higher, but it's going to be right beside it. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start off by about going halfway where you think it's going to be halfway. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to build uh, one block right here, and you're going to go down. So, there's going to be two down, and then you're going to make sure that there's seven across this way so that's one two three four five six seven and then you're gonna wanna put another one up now what you're wanna, gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna fill this with just like dirt or some other material so you know that you're gonna have to mine it out later and now you're going to make three blocks uh, across in the middle so there's one space here and one space here then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna build up about um, it really doesn't matter as long as you make a scale somewhat like this, but uh, this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven high. So uh, this this right from starting right here is seven blocks high, which I think mine right there is eight, but I'm not too sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8 or nine. It's something like that, but I can't I can't quite remember. So I'm gonna make this eight tall. And then what you're going to want to do is, just for some lighting purposes, you're going to want to put a torch in inside there and on the bottom. And so now it's starting to kind of look like the bottom, but now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to drill uh, however wide you want it. I don't know how wide, but you can, uh, the wider it is, the more it can hold. So this is three blocks, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So it's 17 across over here, so now what we're going to want to do is, oh, we'll break that block later, but we're going to want to go 17 this way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then we're going to want to start building it up. Uh, it really doesn't matter how high. I mean, it does, but it doesn't at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build it so I think that there's like four or five block space here because what you're going to want to do is be able to stand right here and then it's going to uh, be this many blocks so one two or that's just one two three four so there's going to be four blocks of space right here from uh, standing there so when you're up on here uh, this isn't going to be enough space so I'm going to build up and now I'm going to build uh, across just in a little bit but make sure this is built out to about uh, where there's space here. So then you're going to want to take platforms that you have that I totally just threw out. And you're going to want to put them right here so that way you can um, have a space to get in very easily. So you're going to want platforms right here. But since I don't have any anymore because I got rid of them, I, uh, I won't put them there. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to build up on both sides so there's almost like a little circle, kind of like this. And then what you're going to want to do is, as you can see over here, there's three spaces wide. So we're going to have to do that over here and then, yeah. So I'm going to build this wall down right here. Like so, we are going to end up breaking that because we're going to have to get over there and over there to do some stuff. But, uh... Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put block at your face height like this on this side so it's like an L shape uh, upside kind of horizontal ish. And then what you're going to want to do is build out like so. So um, as you can see if we go over here 
that looks like it except there's two spaces there originally so for water there's going to be two spaces so we're going to have to drill through here and just make this one more out put this down and then at face level and now there's two spaces so we're good right there I'm just gonna block this off so no zombies or anything come in and then what you're gonna wanna do for this side the lava is a little bit different so what you're gonna wanna do is do this same thing right here except you're gonna want to make just a straight line uh, without the little L thing so when this is down this is gonna go out like so uh, but we need to extend this out one more little block like so and that is what it is gonna happen now since I need to get down here um, to break these blocks I'm just going to come back up now so when you what you're gonna do to access it is you're gonna access it from the top but since I can't right now I don't have to worry about it uh, so then what you're gonna do is water is going to be on this side and lava is going to be on this side but how you keep it flowing infinitely is you're going to just keep clicking on the top just keep uh, left clicking on the top and it starts to fill up and then what happens is that starts to fill up now one thing I forgot to do was um, actually remove the dirt right here which is something you will want to do if you want the generator to work so as you can see the water starts filling up once you uh, have the water bucket uh, you just have to keep left clicking just right at the top and if the water pile right here starts to glitch and you can't pick it up then just pick up one from here and then start doing it again but then what you're going to want to do is once you, you just keep clicking until you want it to fill about right to the bottom of this glass right here so that way it's uh, pretty much at its uh, maximum because we don't want it to flow into all this other stuff it just I don't know what will happen and I don't really want to test it because it might not work as well so once you fill it up quite a bit, uh, I'm just going to fill it up to about, uh, yeah, just right about there. So then you can pick up your water again and then come over to the lava side and you're going to go right here and you're just going to start clicking uh, once it starts to, uh, you can start clicking uh, infinitely once, I can't remember what has to happen. Because lava, lava flows really, really, really slow compared to uh, this. So if we go over to um, this generator over here. Uh, we built that wrong. That's why. This needs to be one out more along with this. So that way the uh, lava actually flows a lot faster. So once this lava gets out of the way, then I can place that. There we go. Okay, now if you take the lava, which is down there, because I'm an idiot, but I'm just going to go over here and. Ooh, that was stupid of me. I need to grab some lava from over in our in my other generator that is that, that actually cooperated for me. Let's kill this zombie. Right, I can't double jump. That's why it's not working. Alright, so let's just fill that up. And now if we come over here and start clicking, it's kind of slow. You have to just kind of let it start flowing up a little bit. And then now once it starts to fill up, then you can start um, rapidly clicking and it'll start to infinitely flow over until the lava starts to flow up now it the piece of obsidian will be down in the bottom corner of the generator uh, right where that dirt block is so now that it's kind of filled up just as a test to show you guys that it does work uh, I'm gonna have to somehow get up there since it's dark out why is there an ice slime All right. So to make sure that it works, 
I'm just going to do that and now you can see there's a piece of obsidian here and you can just keep mining it and it will give you obsidian and then once the lava runs out and the water runs out then you have to refill it. But that is a tutorial on how to make an obsidian generator. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace.